In this question, we've been told that the mean of this data is 15.25. Now, usually, whenever we have a mean question and we have a frequency table, I'll ask you to put the data into your calculator as list one and list two and use whatever you get on the summary screen. That won't work this time because we have an unknown value as one of these X data points. We have an unknown value K and our calculator won't be able to deal with that. So we do need to rely on the more formal technique of using the formula. The formula tells us that X bar can be found if we calculate the sum of F minus X. So the sum of some products. So, and then we're gonna divide by the sum of F. So let's go ahead and do that. The sum of the products will give us 10 times 12, 13 times 25, K times 23, all the way on. That's going to be divided by the total frequency here, which is 84. We can just tidy up on the next line by expanding each of those brackets. And then we'll just get all of the constants together. And we only have four terms left now in our equation. So some sensible rearranging to make K the subject, multiplying by the 84, subtracting 913, and then dividing by 23. And that gives us an answer for K of 16. Now, is this a sensible answer? Firstly, looking at the table, I was expecting something in between 14 and 18. Since the previous group was 13, the group afterwards is 19, I wanted something in between. Secondly, so that's my first informal sense check. So that's my first sense check. More formally, we can actually just calculate the mean of the table now that we have a value for k. So just substitute in 16 for k and go ahead and calculate the mean. I'll leave you to do that one for yourself and verify whether or not 15.25 is the answer we get.